So we've got Terrell, Dion, Thomas and Jacob all here. Uh, first of all, Terrell, how was uh, the experience in Mudgee, mate? Um, hot. Nah, it was, it was a good week, good getaway with the boys um, and it was a good win. But yeah, it was enjoyable. Mate, uh, the, on the over the competition, uh, where will you start playing in, in round one? Um, I've been training at fullback, so fullback hopefully, but most likely fullback. Will that be in the New South Wales Cup or the Jersey um, League? Yeah, that's what I'm going for, the Cup hopefully, but we'll see. Yeah, and your experience uh, with the minutes on the field the other day playing with some of the elite players of the game, how was that? Um, it was unreal, like just the boys like before game, like we were all slapping each other up and that and I think I whispered to a few of them, can't wait to play with you and it was just like, couldn't get over it, yeah. And you've had a bit of a bad run with injuries, head knocks, how's the body now mate? Um, the body's good this season, um, pre-season's been pretty well, stayed injury free and um, yeah, feeling confident. Thanks mate, we'll pass it over to, to Dion. Now I was calling you Neon Dion like the great Dion Sanders but uh, I don't know <laughs> if that's going to stick but mate. You've had a couple of runs in the top grade now. Obviously, against uh, Manly, it was it was a bit of a dream debut for you. Yeah, um, no, it's definitely something I've always like dreamed of being on the big stage and on TV. Um, but yeah, just the experience itself um, was pretty enjoyable. Um, playing alongside like a few of my mates and um, yeah, just trying to put what I've learned in preseason onto the field. So I think you've been at the club for quite a while now. You've come right through the pathway system, so it's a good. Advertisement, I suppose you could say, for our system and bringing blokes like yourself through. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> so I played development in under 14s um, and then played Haramatia, and then since then um, been at the club. So yeah, Haramatia and come through the pathways. Yeah, so I suppose a bit like Terrell, maybe some New South Wales Cup or, or flag this year is the plan, or um, yeah. So my goal is to hopefully play some consistent cup footy. Um, uh, if I if I end up in flag, um, obviously put my best foot forward and. See where it goes. Well, last time I asked that question was as I had Tassus, and he ended up in first grade. So let's hope the yes. same happens for you, mate, <laughs> yeah, some yeah, stage during the year. Yeah, Good on you, mate. Happen. We'll pass it on to, to Thomas. Thomas Fletcher, we shared a bit of stuff about you, the photo you had with AJ. You've been a lifelong South fan, and you sort of lived your dream by running on in the charity shield on Saturday night, Saturday other. Yeah, I did. I think it was a dream. I think back look, going back last year, I was at school just watching the charity shield, and then to think I was playing it. I had to pinch myself a couple of times, I guess. Like running out with Tom Burgess, Jairo, Cam Murray, those boys. I think it's something I'll always be grateful for. Yeah, so you've had a taste now. So obviously the same question, you're, you're eligible for flag New South Wales Cup and then maybe some first grade if, if that happens. Yeah, look, I, this week I'm going well, I'm for the SG ball. I'll stay at the SG ball. Oh, you're still at SG yeah, ball level. There you yeah. go. How old are you, Tom? Uh, 19 this year. Yeah, there you year. go. Yeah. Okay. So, um... I'll go back down there this week and then I just want to play a shoe ball, I guess, and hopefully get a win in that, yep. the comp. A couple of our boys are injured, Tyrone Munro and Jai Gray, which is unfortunate, but I think they come back next week, which will be good, and I think they'll help lift the ball team up and hopefully well, we can get a win. If he's a rule on the field, that can be a super side, that SG ball team, can't it? Yeah, it definitely can. Look, as you can see in our trial, like the first be our main trial that we did, we we pumped them, we put like 50 on them, mm. but um, just have a couple of unfortunate injuries which didn't go our way, I guess. Yeah. So. We love your story, you come from Canamble, country boy, your dad loves the bunnies too, yeah. and you've ended up here, a proud family, proud moment on Saturday? Yeah, very proud, I think my dad was more happy than me, I guess, <laughs> that's the way it goes. Um, yeah, but look, to put that jersey on is just something special, I guess, that I think I'll forever remember. Shout out to Dad Nick. Yeah, shout out to Nick. Pass it on to Jacob. Welcome to Bunnies TV, mate. <laughs> so, <laughs> your, your, your bro's moved on, but you're still here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How long have you been at the club for now, mate? Uh, so, I come in the back end of 2019, um, yep. but that was just through the New South Wales Cup system, so it was a bit of a disruptive one. Well, obviously, with COVID, that's when COVID sort of first started, so we played round one here. Um, in 2020 and then pretty much after round one the whole season was just gone so yeah. and then the following year after that had a bit bit of momentum going into the season we had I think it was like around round 13 or 14 and then it got cut again with COVID so a bit of a disruptive one but now um, yeah just looking forward to this year ahead. Well it's yeah. been a tough road for players like yourself that COVID and just no footy you couldn't get out there and just play footy every week and 
and, and just improve on your footy. Yeah, it, it was it was a tough one. Obviously, seeing the boys like in the full times so that was obviously um, with the NRL. Lucky enough that we get we got to still watch some good footy and um, got them in the bubble in the Gold Coast. So it was good for them boys to get uh, get some footy in. But yeah, oh, it's all gone and done and dusted now. So looking forward to this year and getting some quality footy in. Well, mate, I'm hoping you find a first grade spot and uh, you know you. Rival your brother's achievements and origin and who knows what for you. <laughs> yeah, it'll be good. It'll actually, it'll be pretty funny. We were talking about it. Hopefully, you get that spot and hopefully it's against him and the marking up against him would be pretty cool. It'd be a that fair bit of chat cool. going on. So, no, nah, it'll be good. Hopefully, one day. I'd love to see that. It'll be good. Jacob Gagai, thanks for joining us on Bunnies TV and thank you to all the boys. Cheers, mate. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Good on you.